Pisces, thanks for showing up to watch this video. So this is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This is also if you're spying on your partner who's a Pisces. Um, Personally, I think moon signs resonate the best. So if you don't know your moon sign, there's a link in the description box below. You just click it. It takes you to a website, gives you all that information. Okay, so, um, <coughs> excuse me. First thing I wanted to mention is these videos are coming out for October, a little bit in advance of October. So if you watch this video and you're like, you know what, some of these things made sense to me, some of them didn't. Um, as the month progresses, you might want to come back to this video because it's not uncommon where people say in the description box or in the comment box below, like, you know what? I watched this video in the beginning of the month and it was like kind of like 60 40, but then I watched it halfway through the month and I was like, holy shit, who saw that coming? 150 million percent accurate. And I needed to see this again in order to navigate the situation. So, just something to say if you're watching this um, in advance of October. Okay, so here we go, Pisces. Before I actually get started with the spread I wanted to do and ask the questions I wanted to ask, they're saying you have a couple challenges here. The challenge is to go within, is to really think about things. What is important for your heart chakra? Like, what is it that really opens that up? Okay, now the other thing is to not be defensive, is to not be paranoid. If you're expecting that somebody's gonna hurt you, Sure as shit they are. That's the law of attraction, baby cakes. That's how it goes. So it's a challenge to not do that, and it's a challenge to go within and really examine what's going on with you emotional, emotionally in your relationship and what is it that you're attracting, okay? So just keep that in mind as we go through the reading. Okay, so the first thing, what is the overall state of the relationship in the month of October? So it's pretty balanced, but it's kind of one of those things where it's like, you're on the edge of something. It's like you've invested in to this relationship and like things are pretty calm and like you're pretty trusting that like, you know, you're trusting your intuition that good changes are coming as a result of this relationship. And you're right, that's true. But part of you is like, all right, can it just be here yet? <laughs> you see in both of these cards, these guys are like waiting for their ship to come in. It's just within sight, but it's not there yet. So the, a good example of this is like, hey, we've been in this for a while, like we love each other, our relationship is going smoothly, where's my motherfucking engagement ring, right? <laughs> Some of you might find yourself that way um, in this month. So what's working for you though in the month of October? And I get that um, you're not being selfish, you're not, um, you know, like blowing money on yourself and things like that. You're you're actually focused on your partner and this wasn't like something that you had to confuse, confuse yourself about. It was just like one of those things where it was totally inherent and natural. So that's really good for you and it's really good for your partner. It says that this is building confidence and passion and excitement within your relationship. So yay for Pisces. Um, what can you do or change to make this relationship better? It says that... Um, for some of you, maybe stepping back and not showing love so much, like in an acts of service kind of way, would be good. And the reason being is that um, there are some things that you need to heal from, you know, that have made you unhappy. And so you might be overzealous in that and kind of like smothering your partner a little bit this month. Um it's not necessarily a bad thing to do that occasionally, but we don't want to carry it through the whole month because our hope is that um, if we can find some good balance, you see the balance here, and um, most of us have pretty um, pretty good emotional balance this year, or this year, this month, as you could see with the other cards that had water in them, most of the water is like really, really still. So we're in a good place, but we want to stay, we want to maintain that balance, and that's how we do that. We don't want to go over um, because in a certain way, like depending on who your partner is, and this is where you're going to want to go and watch your partner's reading is, um, that for some of them, they will feel suffocated. Some of them will feel guilty. Like for example, a Libra would be like, oh my gosh, like I appreciate all these things that you're doing and it does make me feel loved. But now I feel like a piece of shit because I'm not giving back to you in the same capacity because I can't right now. And so then they'll start to push you away right? And it really has nothing to do with you because you were a great partner. It was more like they couldn't handle their own emotional guilt over it. And that's their own ish, right? So um, 
It's not saying like, don't be loving and caring. Definitely do that. But you know, when you see that you're kind of like going out of your way to do this too often, just kind of be mindful of it, at least in this month, maybe not always, but this month of October. Yes. Okay. So they're like, um, actually, if you can try to manifest things that you want for this relationship, you can absolutely have them and they will be bigger and better than you ever even thought possible. So, um, this is a really great month for making positive, um, changes and choices in your relationship. It's also a very fiery and exciting month. Now, remember how I was talking about some of you are like, oh my gosh, when am I going to get that engagement ring kind of a thing? Um, some of you may actually get it this month. Um, because I don't know if you noticed, but in both of these cards or in this card, as well as what card was that? One of the first ones also had a dolphin in it where with the ships and then the one next to it, the two of ones, it had the little white dove and both of them indicate positive changes. So we have positive changes here all over the place in regards to our relationships with all of this fire energy, a lot of passion. So, um, this is a really exciting month for you in, in terms of your relationship. What do you need to understand or accept about your relationship this month is that um, sometimes stuffing our feelings does cause drama because it causes our partners to worry about us. Um, but they're like, you know what, like for the long term, this is a really good investment. I feel like a lot of you who are going to be watching this video, and this can't possibly be all Pisces, right? But but many of you are with the person that you will stay with your entire life, that you'll grow old with, that you'll retire with. So that's a huge blessing. Um, if only everybody could be so lucky, right? So what is the overall lesson this month within the within your relationship for the month of October? Patience. Hey, hey. You're able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own rhythm. So it's like, you know what? All of these positive changes are coming, we promise, but you got to wait for them to just kind of work out within divine timing. So that sucks and it's hard, but they're like, hey, here's a promise that things are going to go really well. You know, so just appreciate it. Live in the moment. Have a lot of sex. Like that's basically what it's saying. Um, what is your overall guidance or advice for this month? They're like... If you're going to be heartbroken and you're going to be disappointed and sad if you can't, like, just chill, okay? <laughs> so whether that's about showing too much to your partner and smothering them or whether that's about, like, where, you know, like, when are you going to ask me to marry you? When are you going to, when are you going to move in? Like, whatever that is, you got to just chill a little bit because your relationship is good. Um, kind of push all that energy towards fun and excitement within the relationship instead. And then maybe you'll see things kind of transforming a little bit quicker. So love and light and congratulations on an awesome October. Bye.